Yo, what's poppin' Autocons? It's your team leader, the Random Gamer, here with another Nerf toy review of the Nerf Rival Apollo. This is a Nerf gun that I've had for a little bit while now. I actually uh, didn't get it in a store. I got it from a free, free pile. I just happened to find it in a free pile, and it came with everything you needed. It came with the uh, the mag here. Um, came with about five, six rounds. I decided I had to add like two rounds to it, and I have a full mag. But the Apollo comes with um, comes with the obviously the if you were to buy a new one, it would come with the blaster, the mag, seven round uh, seven rounds because that's how much it holds, and um, the instructions on how to use it, which is pretty straightforward how to use this. And I've seen enough reviews to know how to use this myself. But uh, if you didn't know, it would, they, uh, the new box would come with instructions for it. So, um, yeah, uh, but let's get on to details of it. It's got the nice black arrows in the front. It says um, the full name is the Nerf Apollo XV700, which I don't know what XV means in Roman numerals, but uh, it might mean 15, because um, X means 10, you know. But uh, moving down... You have a nice little box here pattern on the side, and um, and it says Nerf Rival on the side here. Um, this is this is a very odd looking pistol. Um, it's got the trigger lock here, which you just press, um, which now the trigger which it can now cannot shoot, but if you were to press that now you now you can shoot it if it was prime. Uh, speaking of priming, you have the prime primer here, and the um, and the priming um, unlock on the other side here. So that would would unlock it once you get it primed. So um, once you do that, and it has a um, rival rail that you could put the rival um, accessories that they've made on here, and of course. It comes with, as I showed before, the magazine, and um, which can shoot seven rounds, which I will be shooting this later, uh, later in this video. And uh, for comparison, we have the Apollo with the Nerf Rival Vision, so you get an idea of how big it is. It's more, it's longer in, um, it's longer in the back than it is in the front, but you get an idea. Um, and this holds eight, whereas this the mag in the Apollo will hold seven, so. Um, I don't think either of them, actually no, you could do slam fire with either of these, um, I believe, but no, this one I don't think it goes very easily if you do slam fire, but this one I haven't tried, I haven't really tried it before, but it gets tiring when you're priming this because the way you prime it, I'm gonna take out the mag in order to show you so I don't put around in there by mistake. So when you go to prime it, it it's hard because as you saw, I wanted to go back as I was priming it. And then you push it forward, then then once you unlock the trigger lock, you can fire. Which there was nothing in there, so nothing came out. And nothing shot out of the blaster. But so the Apollo, so I would say the only downside to this blaster would be the way you have to prime it because when you push it back, it's push, you're pushing against it and it's going like this. So you have to sit there and hold it like that or do it this way where you're up against it, uh, have it up against your shoulder with the, which this flat piece of the butt of the rival blaster, which that's the priming indicator right there. Um, the other orange thing I showed you was the way to unlock it if you had like a jam, which I haven't experienced the jam. This thing acts like it's brand new, um, and it's not even new, brand new. But um, so back to the comparisons, we have the knockout in comparison. So you get to see, so minus the fact that it's got a really long stock on it, it is essentially the same size. The handles are a little bit. A little bit bigger uh, is a little bit bigger on the knockout, but compared to the um, Apollo. But all in all, um, that is the external view of the Nerf Rival Apollo. Now let's switch over to the shooting part of this, which I'll just be shooting at my shed, which is over, over 
there behind me as you can see so yeah I'm gonna pause this and I'll be right back all right so we are going to do a short range um, at the shed I'm gonna be a little bit further back I, my body will be out of sight but you'll be easy to go so let's get this started Yeah, so that was shooting the Apollo, and I think it ran smoothly, so now we're going to move back to where I was originally doing the review, and I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back, and um, so one thing I forgot to mention about the Rival Mags is you can eject um, the rounds if you need to uh, without shooting them out of the, bla out of the blaster, or any blaster. And uh, all you do, there's a switch right there, and you can just eject it like that, and then the rock and the rounds come out, which can seem very suggestive. Sorry that I'm not in shot. Only one came back to me, <laughs> but um, yeah. And then you take your your rival rounds. And you just put them back into the into the mag one by one like that. I know that the ejection part of it can seem very can be viewed inappropriate by and seen in different ways, but um, yeah. So that is it for the. That was a little bug biting my arm um that's it for the mag part and uh what do i think of this blaster i think it's a very good blaster i would not use this every every um round every game of nerf any every nerf battle i would ever do but um i would definitely use this if i if i couldn't use this during a pistol rival uh pistol nerf war this would be my go-to rival blaster um so far and but this if i didn't have my vision with me i would be definitely using this because i wouldn't want anyone dealing with the priming function of this blaster i would rather just deal with myself and slow myself down because um i wouldn't want anyone to have the pain of trying to shoot this use this and the priming is a pain for them so yeah but um i would definitely suggest this to not a new um nerf person when it comes to rival but i would suggest this to anybody who has had rival and has already used this one and used this one in the flex and have gotten used to the fact that these things will sting when they hit you especially close range um but yes definitely get this if you see one especially if you see one in a free pile grab it it's a nice it's a nice grab uh, especially if it functions well like this one did, did i lucked out with this but um yeah definitely definitely get this this is an awesome 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 rival blaster to have so hope you enjoyed this review um if you sub if you did enjoy make sure you subscribe to my channel destroy that like button and demolish that post notification button for uh, every single video, so you can get a notification on every single video I, I upload. Talk to you in the next one, Autocons. Peace out. Thank you for watching.